Hello and welcome back to Friday Tech Tips. My name is Matt Romney. I'm part of the Biz Team, Business Intelligence and Systems, and I'm going to be doing the Friday Tech Tips. Today, we are going to talk about Microsoft Word, specifically the Review tab. There's a lot that could be done there. Today, we're going to talk specifically about the New Comment button, the Track Changes feature, the Reviewing pane, the Accept, Reject, previous and next buttons. So I have a document opened. This can be any document. It can be a document you've created, a document that someone else has created and shared with you or sent to you. But the first step that needs to happen to be able to track the changes is click the track changes button. Now you'll see what that does, but this is very handy if you're trying to reduce the amount of paper you're using. What you can do now is let's say you want to make a change. You're looking at this document, you don't like the size of that font. It needs to be bigger. Okay. I want to make that font bigger. Great. Now it's highlighted it. It shows the format of the font to 22 points. Now it's showing us this because we're tracking changes. Now the next thing we want to do is directions. Read each question and answer as honestly as possible. Let's make that one bit bigger. Down here we're going to remove all of these numbers and make them bullet points instead. So we'll just come up here, click on the bullet points, makes that change for us. Next thing we're going to do is make a comment. Now it doesn't really matter what comment I make here, but let's say it has to do with the word questions. So I'm going to highlight that word, come up to the review tab again, and click on new comment. It draws a line from that highlighted word over to the side, and it shows my initials MR1. My name is Matt Romney. If I hover over it, it tells me Matt Romney, March 21st at 2.15 p.m. commented I don't like maybe it's just the formatting let's talk okay so you can make comments anywhere even if you just have a cursor there and that's the point. It's going to go from where your cursor is. Let's add a comment. This word is too general. Let's be more specific. So you can make comments anywhere. It shows you who made the comment and what the comment was, and you can see when it was commented. Now, that's a number of changes you can make any kind of change you want to. You can even delete information. Let's say we're looking here, I just want to delete this completely. It's going to show that that is meant to be deleted. Now, let's change roles. I'm no longer the editor. I'm now the document owner. So I want to come in and review these changes. So I'm going to click on the reviewing pane. Now it shows me over here to the left what changes have been made. If I click it takes me to that part in the document so that I can see exactly what it's talking about. I changed the font to 22 point. As I'm looking at that, I like what they've done. I'm going to accept that. You click the accept button. If you don't like it, now we're looking at the 14 point font. I don't like that one. Let's change that back. I rejected that change. Now, let's say I don't want to accept or reject this right now, I want to go to the next, next, and if you look over here to the left, it's highlighting each change that we're going to as we get there. Number three, number four, so it's taking us all the way down through all these changes, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now we're to the comment. So I like just the comment here. Now it's not that you're going to accept the comment, I didn't make any change here, but it's saying that you acknowledge that you have read that comment. It's up to you whether you actually contact that person and discuss the changes. So we're going to reject that. 
Let's reject the next comment. I think those wordings are fine. What other word are we going to use there? Now this next one, it's the questions are clear and thorough written. I wanted to delete that text. That's fine. Let's reject. Let's accept that deleting the text. Now it says, do I want to continue from the beginning of the document because I jumped and skipped a few of them so I didn't take care of them. So yeah, let's go back up to the top. It takes me to the first question. Let's go through it. I'm going to reject all of these. I like the numbering, not the bulleting. So one by one, I'm rejecting all of those changes that were made. Okay. It's done. There's nothing else that needs to be reviewed on that. So at this point, this document could be printed because someone else has reviewed it. It can be sent out. If that's what my uh, manager and I agree on, we're good to go with this. It never has to be printed. It can all be done and tracked right there. Give me a call. Send me an email. My uh, email address is mattromney at utah.gov. Let me know what you think of these and uh, what suggestions you have for the next tip. Thank you very much.